I have no excuse. Go on then. My name is Gunnildu and um, I bought some yarn. So this time from Hobium. Um, so uh, you may have seen Krista's video. Um, Krista's from Arid. No, wait, sorry. Bago de Crochet, wonderful human being. Um, I absolutely adore her. Um, I saw her video, like, was it last week? Was it the week before? Where she put on a very, very short, um, basically just like a, you know, heads up video about, um, Hobium. Um, because turns out, because, because she found out that they were having a sale. So, um, I saw her video. And because there's been some yarn on Hobium that I've been, like, eyeing and, like, you know, wanting because you no know, you're not holics we do that um i mean no excuse there's some yarn that i was very interested in and you know finding out that they had a sale i'm like yes please and i may have ordered a little bit <laughs> just a little um so as usual i want to share it with you because Because! <laughs> yeah. ah, so, um, oh, that is pretty! That is really, really pretty. So yes, um, there are some yarns here that, let me sit down, okay, so there are some yarns here that um, a subscriber pointed out to me, like, some months ago, when I did the um, hobby, my, I think my last hobby haul, the one with um, the like dahlias and those wonderful like cake yarn. And they point out to me the yarn art um, flowers. I do believe it was the flowers one. So oh, look at it. Yes. The flower cakes. Oh, can you see that? The label. <gasps> look at those colors. I have to admit, it was really, really hard just to pick up, like, um, I think I went like two colors in each. It was really, really difficult, but I'm like, I do need to pick out something that I want to use. And I'm like, this, these. And it's a little bit blown out in my viewfinder. This here um, is white on the viewfinder, but it's actually like this palest, gorgeous baby pink. That's so pretty. So yarn art. They're flowers. Uh -uh. These are three... <laughs> 250 gram cakes or 8.8 .8 ounces, a thousand meters or 1093.6 yards. These are 55% cotton and 45% pack. Here's the label. I have no idea what pack is. I'm going to assume it's something like acrylic or something. I think it's acrylic on the website. So there's also, you know, all the washing instructions and all that. Let's see, they are re recommending knitting needles, 2.5 millimeter or US 2, crochet hook, 3 millimeter or C or 2. It is super fine. And all these labels. Go. And we also have the color and lot number in case you want to see that. Um, but yeah, this feels really, really soft. Also, it has a central mart stickered easy start. We love an easy start cake. That's yes, it's really, 
really soft. Thread is, I'm just going to come close to you. Thread is this nice, tightly woven thing, so it should be easy to work with. You know, like some yarns, they like the threads are basically loosely held together. Um, like in some, yeah, in some other yarns, but this tight, I like it. But it's also really, really soft, so I looking forward to working on this one. The shawl, of course, because I'm a shawlholic. Um, put it here. Um, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna pick this one. This is Flowers Moonlight. And this, this gorgeousness. Look at it. This yarn has, like, can you see it? It's gorgeous, gorgeous metallic. It is so pretty. Now these, yeah, these are 260 gram cakes or 9.15 ounces, 1,000 meters again, and 1,093.6 yards, 53% cotton, 43% pack, I think that's acrylic, and 4% metallic polyester. Also really, really soft, I like it. Let's see, it does have... And otherwise, just the same information as the as the flowers. Go. Let's see. And the color and block number. And again, just the colors. And the easy pool. I love the easy pool. Look at them. Gorgeous. Let's see what else did I get? Oh, here's one. This is oh, flowers from light. Again, is that the same? Yes. This one. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm using a you know overly font of like I know. Most of the time I'm not really in love with like blacks. I don't know why. When I go for variegated like colorways, I tend I really like more you know, other colors like these. Uh, some reason with black, I'm often like, mm, it look pretty, but mm. she says, and I'm pretty sure I have some. Mm. Another one, yes. another flourish moonlight. This kind of reminded me of like a rock, you know, like rock crystal. Um, you know, the ones with the, you know, when they're cracked open, they're like the centers are like just, you know, crystals and they look really pretty. Pretty certain that's called a rock crystal. <laughs> Don't know what I'm talking about, but like this reminds me of like that kind of rock. <laughs> Absolutely adore these colors. Because evidently I absolutely fell in love with Moonlight. It's like, mm-hmm, yes. I thought I got more... Yes, there's another one. Of the flowers. Black. I did remember this one. Because this is, like... I don't know, suitably dramatic for me. Like, got the black on the outside, and then you got just these gorgeous yellows and oranges. get a third with the flowers or I don't think I did good enough for others I did get like the macram because I'm going to be taking um, a short course on like the basics of you know working macram so obviously I'm going to need Obviously, you're gonna need, you know, yarn to do it. And I decided, you know, why not try this? Look at the colors! I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing with the macram. I'm like, be literally going blind. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go in arm. So, this is Macram Cotton Spectrum by Yarn Art. Um, Eco friendly yarn. These are 250 grams, or 8.8 .8 ounces, 225 meters or 246.06 yards, 80% cotton and 20% polyester. Let's see. Here we go. 
And over here, they're recommending knitting needles of 5mm or US 8. Crochet hooks 5mm or 8 or 8. This is a yarn weight medium. There we go. And then we have the color and lot number. Obviously, I did check. You know, just before I started filming, I'm filming this on Wednesday the... What day is today? That would be the 11th of August. And the sale is over, but um, I'm going to show you what I've got because... So, got this. Ooh. Got these. Oh, that's so pretty. And here are the color and lot number. Let's see. Right. Oh, yeah, this is there, there, there. Because I needed purples. <laughs> color and lot number. Then I got. Oh dear, I did get quite a bit, didn't I? Yeah, here we go. I got the Lauren Get Inspired Macram in four different colors. These four different colors. These are Lauren Get Inspired Macram. These are 100 grams of 3.5 ounces, 150 meters, or 164 yards. They are 100% polypropylene. Um, right? Something. And they are crochet hook number five, knitting needle six to seven, and Three, yarn with three. There we go. Oh, I didn't even tell you what I thought of this yarn. Dear, dear me. Ooh. Oops. My brain, my brain. All right, so the Macram Cotton Spectrum feels like cotton, surprisingly. <laughs> it's kind of like tubular type of yarn. Um, Reminds me a little bit of like, um, school going my, um, shoelaces. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Just the texture kind of reminds me of shoelaces, but you know, it's that type of like tubular type of thing. Um, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to, you know, do the Macron with it. So, I I don't know what I'm talking about, it's just... I feel a little bit secure knowing that I can make some, something interesting out of out of this. So it does feel a little bit, quite a bit different from these ones. Um, this feels a touch harder and a bit more slippery. Um, so yeah. Here's the color number and lot. It's on the bottom of the label, just under the um, barcode. So, yeah. These are all lot zero zero, I think. Yeah, so, first lot number. And the lovely dark purple one. Go. So yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be so interesting to work with. So that's ready to go. Oh, got so many pretty things. I also, because I, you know, really, really interested in it. Um, because I do have a pattern. I do have several patterns of like how to make, you know, um, a hat and stuff like that. 
So I got Raffia. Um, and I have to admit, this is a lot softer than I kind of was expecting. So, you know, Raffia is, I do believe, a natural product. There's no label or anything. But Raffia is paper. Um, so, yeah. So it basically just feels like <laughs> feels like a paper bag, basically. Um, so this is going to be interesting to try out. Um, I just picked up this color. This a little bit of variation, so there's a little bit of like color texture to it. Which you know feel felt like a lot you know more interesting to me, and something like I would rather feel like working with. Um, that said, there were a lot of colors to pick from. Um, a lot of like natural type of colors, but again, I went with this one because I don't know it just spoke to me. So this is gonna be really, really interesting to work with. Um, very different. <laughs> I did try to go for something you know like touch different from what I'm used to. See, says picking up things that she's also rather used to working with. Um, but, you know, there were also, you know, yarn that I've been eyeing for months, um, such as this Gazelle Unicorn, hand-painted, um, because there's just something with me and yarn that's called Unicorn, it's like, well, if it's a unicorn, it's gonna be speaking to me. Um, let's see, I got... These are happy feet. It's a unicorn and happy feet. Okay, I'm gonna cover unicorns first because. Look at that. And again, there are a lot of colors to pick from, and quite a few were sold out, but I did get the ones that I was most interested in, like this color in purple. Color in purple. You know, predominantly like yellow, yellow, green, and purple. That's pretty. Um, these oranges and reds. A little bit burgundy here. Green and blue. And these, a little bit softer. These remind me more of like water. Going from green into blues and lilacs and purples. Just. So these are the Gazelle Unicorn Hand Painted. They are 100% 100% Super West Merino Wool. And they are these are 100 100 gram hanks or 3.52 ounces. They are about 197 meters or 215 yards. See so the label again. Oh, the unicorn. So cute. So, these are wash after knit, always a good, good advice, knitting needles 6 millimeters, I'm guessing. Ah, we'll figure that one out. Um, they are saying crochet hooks 3 to 5 millimeters. I don't know, the picture is a little bit confusing to me, like... I'm guessing they're showing like a tr like a classic crochet hook and then a like Tunisian or Russian one, but the pictures are confusing me. Ah, I'm easily confused. Anyway, yeah, as there are no tie lots, buying enough yarn at one time it to complete to complete each individual project is recommended. Sound wise, so. Let's see, it's not the... Yeah, color number. This is 1332. This is 1334. And this is 1335. So pretty. And then we have the Gazelle Happy Feet. Also hand painted. 
Look at that riot of colors, like carnival. These are 75% 75, 75 super west merino wool and 25% polyamide. Again, 100 gram hanks, 3.52 ounces, about 330 meters or 360 yards. I mean, the picture of the sock is cute too, but not as cute as the um, unicorn. Um, let's see, knitting needles 2.5 to 3. Crochet everything is 4 to 5 millimeter. Here we go. You can read the pictures, probably better than me. Let's see. This is color number 3250. And then this one gets a label is a touch different, but you know, exact same information. Let's see, back. Let's see, and this is color number three two four seven, and it is a riot of just yellow. So, you know. At least they'll go quite well together. Love it! Love it! So, because this looks rather dark, so to me it looked at first like black, but there is not a single black in this. This dark here. This is simply very, very dark green, I think. Yeah, that's. Oh, yeah, that's picking up very nicely. So, this here, extremely dark green. There is not a single black threaten this. And I love it. Let's see, go here. Alright, almost to the bottom of it. I mean, oh, I did pick both up. Cool. So, something different. Um, perfectly understandable at the end of very, very short Arctic summer. I got this. Yellow and orange. And these are <laughs> um, for bathing or swimming suits. It's gonna be give me. I mean, I'm gonna have the next winter to make something for next summer <laughs> and colors that I don't usually wear. So, these are the Himalayan bikini. I had to, like, I absolutely had to. Like, this is just different. These are 100% polyamine and it does feel really, really slippery. These are 50 gram. things. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Or 1.75 ounces. These are 165 meters and 180 yards. Let's see. Recommended knitting needles. I do only show a crochet hook. So that's 2.25 millimeter. USB to one. see and the yep here's the color and lock number okay I did get two of the orange it's a very nice light orange and <laughs> and this bright sunshine yellow it's like that is that is rather different for me here's the color and lock number As I said, perfect for, you know, getting something to make for next year. And then the last thing that I got, this has been sitting in my basket since I found it on the website. This is Bamboo Bloom Hand Paints, you know, knit, relax, smile, repeat. And it is so different. Um, I, if I remember correctly, this is also the most expensive yarn. And I got this time, it's from Fibrum Natura. Let's see, information. Oh wow. Needles, US size 9 or 5.5 millimeter. Hook, US size K to 10.5 or 6.5 millimeter. Uh, um, these are 100 gram hanks. About 154 yards or 140 
meters. These are 48% rayon made from bamboo, 44% wool, and 8% acrylic. Here is the label. And this label is recyclable. So it's made or you know it's made from recycled paper. And that's just Ooh, interesting. So Fibra Natura yarns are designed exclu ex words, exclusively in USA and produced under the license in Turkey. I like. I like. Um, not just because I absolutely adore the colors, but like, are you... This yarn is going to be so interesting to work with. I mean, I keep getting close to you, but like, look at it. It goes from... No, focus, thank you. Go from nice thick yarn to like even thicker and like kind of more like fleece. It's a bit more like you know, just wild fleece. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm just a little bit intimidated by this because the variation in the yarn just you know, the um. Uh, like the weight and the thickness of it is a bit dramatic but the colors and the texture this is going to be so interesting I need to find something that's just deserving a project that deserves to you know be made with this yarn so I got five And that is the bottom of my box. Let's see. Oh, I like. This. <laughs> so I got a bag from them because my order was that big. Um, I think this is just about big enough to store my yarn in. Nice. I like it. I like it. Yes, thank you. That's <laughs> so cool. So yeah, that is this book is empty. So I am absolutely in love with with the yarn that I got. This is going to be. This yarn, I say patting it, this is, I've been eyeing this for months. I, I really have to say thank you to Krista for putting that video out there and like, hey, heads up, sale going on because, you know, the sale is over now. But I got this yarn. It's so and I did also get the flowers and the flowers moonlight that um the very lovely person whose name I cannot remember right now pointed out to me that I might like and honestly feeling this it really does remind me of like the Dahlia and the um King Still Loves, I think the name is of um Hobby. It really reminds me of the Hobby Young, so <sighs> I love I love and all of these gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I am. Um, <laughs> so happy. I'm also really excited about the raffia because I do have a pan somewhere in my collection of this like um, straw hat with a um, very nice, lovely brim. So. That's something that I want. I do. What, what was that? What, hmm. it, you know, making my own like big summer hat has been, is something that I want to try because, you no, know, why not? And I mean, I do realize right now that I do have a like project for next summer. Um, make a hat out of the raffia, and then make a swimsuit or two out of the. Um, Bikini yarn. I got bikini yarn. 
<laughs> I don't wear bikinis. Um, maybe I should. I also like these lovely summer colors. That's okay. And these lovely, lovely macram. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Absolutely no idea. But like these lovely nests because, as I said, I'm going to be learning or you know taking a like internet course on how to make things in macram. And now I have the yarn, so I can actually start on the. Uh, on the course. Ah! Love it. Love it. So yeah. Still. <sighs> Hold it closer. Hold it. <sighs> Gaze upon my loneliness. Love it. So yeah. Cool. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> so yes. If you stick with me till the end of the video, thank you so very, very much. But it's much appreciated. And I really hope you liked seeing what I got. So, um, now I need to, you know, finish this video. And then I need to go and see what other people got. Because I'm like, so pleased. I really like Obi. It is. But again, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Okay. Bless, bless.